Hello everyone. So today our comprehension was about the traditional Irish legend of Satanta. So in the story you'll have read about um, Satanta and here he is uh, with his hurling stick and his sliatar, which is the hurling ball. So let's have a look now at the comprehension itself and what the answers were. So you will have read the comprehension carefully and uh, then looked at the questions. Question one says, from which metal was Satanta's hurley stick made? So I'm looking for the part of the passage here that tells me about the hurley stick. And having read it, I remembered that that was near the start. So when I scan the passage to see where it talks about hurley stick. Ah, here we go, hurley stick. What does it say around that? Well, it says he was throwing his bronze hurley stick after it. So there's my answer for that. The hurley stick was made of bronze. Um, so the answer for that one is bronze. One mark if you got that. Question number two, which word in the story means the same as talents? So again, I'm going to scan the story. doesn't mean reading it in detail. I'm just reading it back quickly to myself. And I've come across um, the bit here that says, soon after he arrived at court and his hurling abilities amazed the boys of the corps. Um, so they're amazed at his, at his talents, or as it puts here, his abilities. So abilities is the word here that means the same as talents. Question three, true or false? Circle for each statement, uh, if they're true or false. King Conquabar was the uncle of Satanta. Now, I'm going to try and find the answer to this by looking for King Conquabar. This should be quite, quite easy to spot in my passage because it's a proper noun and this is an unusual word, quite a long word. So again, if I scan down here, I'm looking for King Conquabar. There it is. Okay, it's in the uh, first line of the second paragraph. And it says, King Conquabar, one day King Conquabar was invited to a banquet at the House of Cullen and asked his nephew to join him. So when it says King Conquabar was the uncle of Satanta, well, we know that's true because uh, it says that he invited Satanta, Satanta being his nephew. So if Satanta is King Conquabar's nephew, then King Conquabar is Satanta's uncle. So that one is true. One mark for that. Next statement says, Satanta grabbed the hound by its head. Now again, I've already read the passage, so I sort of know where that incident is, where the hound attacks Satanta. It's in the second paragraph down to the second half of it here. Um, when Satanta arrived at the feast and the great hound leapt up to attack him, but Satanta quickly hurled the sly tar at the hound that it went down the beast's throat. Here we go, the boy grabbed the stunned hound by his feet. Okay, by his feet, not by his head. So for that one, I can circle uh, false. Uh, it's by his feet, so it's one mark for that. So Tanta threw his hurley stick at the hound. Again, I've just read that, but I'm going to double check to make sure. It said um, Satanta quickly hurled the sliatar at the hound. Now, if we highlight this word sliatar, what does that mean? Well, I remember saying that word before near the start, so I'm going to go back to the start. Here it is again, sliatar, uh, and that means hurley ball. Now, the question says, or the statement says, Satanta threw his hurley stick at the hound. Well, that's false because we've just read that he threw his hurley ball at the hound, the name of which was a sliatar. Uh, the next statement says, Satanta became known as Conquabar. Okay, so this is again towards the end of the story, after he's killed the hound, which is the legendary event that takes place. Um, and I, again, from reading it, I know that th this is towards the end. So it's down here somewhere, what he became known as. Became known, here we go. Thus, Satanta became known as Cacullin. So not Conquabar, he became known, known as Cacullin. So you've got to read that one carefully because... Um, those words are quite similar, Cacullin and Conquabar, but they are different, so we know that that uh, is false. He didn't become known as Conquabar, he became known as Cacullin, uh, which means the Hound of Ulster. So again, it's one mark for that, one mark for each of those true or false statements. Question four, which verb is used uh, in the story for the sound made by the Hound? Okay, so again, a verb... Okay, which I know is a doing word. So I'm looking for a doing word, and this is to do uh, with the incident involving the hound. And I know from reading the passage and looking at my earlier questions that this uh, incident with the hound is in the second paragraph. So I'm scanning through this um, 
to see, to, to look about the place where the hound is. The hound guarded the house. The great hound leapt up to attack him. He quickly heard a, sli heard a sly turn into the beast's throat. The boy grabbed the stunned hound by his feet, smashed him in the floor, killing him instantly. Okay, so there's nothing not in there, so we're going to read on. When the guests heard the baying of the hound. Ah, now here's a doing word. The baying of the hound. That must be my answer. Okay, that's the only thing that the hound is doing, which could be a sound. It's not a, it's not a common word, but that is the only answer that it could be. It's the only thing the hound does that could possibly be a sound. The only other thing that the hound does is leaps up at Satanta. So the baying of the hound, baying is the answer, and baying just means uh, like loud barking or howling. Okay, so uh, that's the sound that the hound made when it went to attack uh, Satanta. On to the next question, which says, which words in the story are opposite in meaning to each of the four words or phrases? Write your answers in the passage provided. Now, for a question like this, again, you're going to have to carefully, more carefully scan um, the passage to see if you can find any that you don't know. Some you might have already um, come across as you've done your questions. For example, Nice here. Uh, earlier on, we answered a question about um, Satanta's uncle and the word nephew came up. So I just know that already that the answer to that one's nephew. So don't need to go hunting for that one. Ceiling. Now, what is the opposite of ceiling? Well, I know that ceiling, uh, a ceiling is inside uh, the house. It's the it's the underside of the roof. And what's opposite that is the floor, which is the ground of the house. So I'm going to just check my passage quickly to see if I can find the word floor. I'm scanning it. Um, and I may, you may remember the words cropping up. So you're thinking to yourself, floor, well, I remember reading the word floor somewhere. Scan your passage, scan your passage, there it is, it's floor is here, okay, so for opposites you probably have something in mind, and really what you're doing is scanning the passage to confirm uh, what you thought, and if you can't find the word then that, that's when it gets a little bit more tricky and you might have to rethink it, but in this case the opposite of ceiling is definitely floor, and it is in the passage, so we've got it. Saddened. Well, I know that uh, the opposite of sad is happy or joyful, so it's going to be something to do with joy or happiness. I remember from reading the passage that uh, there was joy and happiness at the end whenever um, Satanta was found to have survived the attack of the hound, at least there was from King Conquebar, um, and he uh, crops up with... Uh, that, that comes towards the end of the passage, so I'm just scanning my last paragraph. Uh, here we go, King Conquebar was overjoyed. So overjoyed must be the answer to that one, um, which would be the opposite of saddened. And the last one in this question is tied up. Um, now I know this is going to be to do with the hound. The hound wasn't tied up because it was able to attack Satanta. So I'm going to go again to the second paragraph, which tells us all about what happened with the hound and see if there's anything about being loose. Um or anything which could be the opposite, or let go, or something to do with the opposite of being tied up, or released. Uh, I think Uncle Bar, forgetting what Satanta said, yes, and Cullen unleashed his hound. Unleashed his hound, so unleashed must be the word, to, to take the leash off. Um, again, I'm going to just make sure that I'm spelling that correctly. Okay, so I'll double check in the passage if I'm not too sure. To make sure that I've spelt it correctly. And there we go. There's our four opposites. Now question six. Why do you think Santanta wouldn't lose his place as a goalkeeper in a Hurley team? Okay, wouldn't. That's an important word. So I want to know if he wouldn't lose his place in a Hurley team. That must mean he, and as a goalkeeper, that must mean he uh, is good at being a goalie. He's going to keep his place. So I'm going to find something that talks about that. Which we did read at the start of the passage, all about his skills or abilities. So let's see what it says. Um, he would run after. He would run and catch both the slayer and the hurley stick before they hit the ground. Uh, his abilities amazed the boys at the core legend. Has he was able to score with these? And when he guarded the goal, he never let a shot in. Okay. Okay. So legend had it that whenever he guarded the goal, he never let a shot in. So, um, as long as your answer is something along the lines of he never let a shot in, or he never let a goal in, or legend has it, 
that he never let a shot in when he guarded the goal, um, then you would get that one right. So that would be another mark. The last question says, circle the type of story you think this is. Is it comical? Uh, which means funny. Is it historical? Um, so is it a history story? That means a factual history story. Is it mythical? Does that mean it's made up? Uh, is it biographical? Is it the story of someone's life or is it romantic? Okay, well, let's see what, what it's definitely not. Uh, it's definitely not a funny story. Okay, it's not su a story which is supposed to make you laugh. Um, it's not a romantic story. It did happen a long time ago, but it isn't a factual story. It's not something that really happened, so we can't say that it's historical. Uh, biographical is the story of someone's life who really existed. Now, we don't know that Satanta really existed. Did this is a uh, myth or legend, so we can't say it's a bio it's from a biography about Satanta. Uh, the only one we're left with is mythical, uh, which makes sense because it's a, as we said at the beginning, it's a, a myth or legend. It's a made up story that's been passed down through uh, the generations. So the answer for that one is mythical. So a good strategy for that type of question is to get rid of the ones that you're sure it's not and work from there and see what it's most likely to be. So well done. Hopefully you find that uh, comprehension about Satanta okay. And keep up the good work. See you all soon.